Hello and welcome back to Heroes of Might and Magic 3, Horn of the Abyss. Uh, this is our factory playthrough with Winona. We've got a lot to do this episode, uh, namely getting better spells on Winona, some artifacts and a second town. Uh, it's been a very long time since I had a game where I still only had one town at the end of week 5. Um, we'll probably have to start bringing two heroes with Winona as well uh, to ensure that we can continue to push resources and side areas without using too much of Winona's movement. Um, and if you have enjoyed the series so far and would like to see more, please do subscribe. I put out one to two videos a week and have started doing subscriber requested content too, so feel free to comment a video that you'd want to watch and I'll get it done. Alright, so let's get into it. Uh, first things first, we want Tancred to see how the army from last time. He very helpfully took out the mana for us. And Winona should be able to do this fairly trivially. Yeah, I don't really think that I should lose anything, actually. Yep, that was relatively trivial. Mm, tactics or estates. It's a main hero, so I won't go for estates. Although estates is a lot better in uh, Horn of the Abyss than it was in the base game. It's double, so it maxes out at a thousand gold per day instead of five hundred, which is much better. But on a main hero, I think I'll still take tactics. I'm not as big a fan of tactics as uh, I know many people are. No, I don't really want to scat. Uh, I don't really want to. I'm oh, a Okay, <laughs> uh, that's uh, always a pretty hilarious spell. But from here, okay, we've got a Utopia up here, we've got another Manor House up here, or Mansion even. Could be worth going to take. I'm definitely going to take out this Mansion, and Throng of Aces shouldn't be too bad. I'm just, I'm just hoping they're a low, a low Throng. Um, Alright, so let's get Shakti back to the Prospectors since we're on day six. Henrietta can go and wait on the foundry. Need to remember what names of, uh, of the new buildings actually are. Um, Caitlin. Caitlin, maybe I just send back. So what's the plan with Lord Hart? Go and grab a free level. Leadership. Always good. And then we want to visit this. I can probably clear out the imps as well, right, if I'm careful. So if I send Caitlyn back up here, we're going to have a load of units to pick up next turn, or next week even. So Caitlyn can ferry those off. Lord Hart will be able to get up to here next turn. So, yeah, I, I think... I think I should be able to do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll easily be able to move to Lord Hart on turn one, drop off some units, and then Lord Hart will have enough movement here to clear this out, drop the units back, and then he can go and grab these two learning stones, well, and I suppose the uh, the sulfur while he's at it. Okay, I think that's a good plan for the start of next week. Uh, Melchior can stay where he is, because I want to be able to use him as a fairy hero. Jury wants to move up a bit, and... I guess so does Tancred, they're really... They're really waiting for Winona to come back and clear all of these out, though, because she should be able to just make them flee, I think, which is probably the easiest thing to do. And building-wise, I don't think I'm going to build anything, because I'm not going to be able to afford the gantry this week. Um, and everything else can kind of wait. I think I'd rather save the resources and see if I can get a decent spell, potentially to replace... Uh, well, either of these, actually. Either Frenzy or Inferno would be fine. I don't think either of them are particularly good, personally. So, okay, we might as well end the turn there. Alright, and Winona. Lots of Diamond Golems should be pretty trivial. I don't feel I should really lose anything in this particular fight. Again, yeah, I'll try not to say that in, uh, at the start of every fight, by the way, guys. Okay, 
I'm not entirely sure how the AI managed to lose six uh, six automatons there. Smash shield. And first and foremost, almost everything's going to be able to hit me, so I might as well just go and hit, uh, hit one of the bigger stacks. Uh, okay, I lost one less halfling, so I'm going to say that's a success. Vial of lifeblood, that's good. Uh, I've already got the ring of vitality, so I'd really just be looking for the uh, the ring of health in that case. And replace view earth, I think. Yeah, replace view earth. Still missing quite a lot of artifacts, which would be nice to uh, to get something for. At least something useful. All right, and Winona, I guess, can pick these gems up, and yeah, I think we take a throng of acids next turn. Ignore the sea dogs because I'm not that bothered about clearing the hive, and I do try not to clear out dragonfly hives and griffin conservatories. Um, these guys just want to stay where they are. Shakti wants to move down to the prospector, which is great. Lord Hart wants to move here because we did figure out that he definitely can. And he can then go and take the imps next turn. Kate needs to stay where she is. Melchior, likewise. He's a good fairy hero there. I should still be able to reach down to Melchior here. Yeah, I think I should still be able to. Tancred's staying where he is. Henrietta's staying where she is. So I think I have an awful lot of heroes that are just going to sit here doing nothing. But I think that's fine. Okay. Normal week. So we've got a, a whole raft of units again. Let's uh, use our bank. That at least gives us uh, an extra chunk of gold to spend. Okay. Well, definitely, that's definitely a decent start. Do I want to take worms or... Hmm. Could just grab all of my engineers. If I do that though, how many halflings can I get? Oh, all of them as well. Okay. Let's just do that then. Um, and we'll grab two worms just because. Okay, I, th I think that's a good start. Who have we got in the tavern? Morton and Sorsha. Morton doesn't look particularly exciting. This also starts with a pretty weak army, so I'm not overly fussed about him. Kate can move here. Lord Hart grabs the army. Yep, that's perfect. You can drop the army back. It's a bit wasteful of movement on Lord Hart, but uh, I think that's okay. So he can then go and pick up the sulphur and the learning stone. That should... Yeah, so that, that should give me uh, level 4, including this one. Which is good enough for me. Ah, I should have picked this up first, so I had a little bit more gold. Never mind. Henrietta. I can pick up a few of these. I can pick up half of these. It's not worth it. I'm just going to leave them where they are. Let's go and grab the ore. And we'll start coming back down and see if we can use Henrietta for something. I'm not sure that we can, actually. She might be better off just going up to the, uh, the Derrick up here. And in fact, Shakti, even though it's a massive waste of movement, I'm going to go and visit all of these learning stones, because you never know, might get estates. So, let's deal with these acids on Winona. I think this is going to be one of the tougher, tougher fights, possibly. Yeah, I think that's the, the right way to do it. Mm, 151 acids. 
more than I was hoping for, but not as many as it could have been. Let's move these up here. Armadillos can block. These can block. And these can block. Okay, so start combat. It's going to be this stack which hits my wattles first. They're going to go straight across, so... <laughs> Armageddon. Uh, let's just shield and wait. Yep. Perfect. They're all hitting my uh, mechs, which is absolutely ideal. Uh, that's, that's kind of exactly what we want, because they're repairable by my mechanics. Hope for a high roll. Best high roll possible. Uh, we won't heal up those automatons yet. Excuse me. Hopefully, I'm muted, muted in time there. Uh, all right, let's let's repair these because I think the next acids are going to go for my armadillos. There we go. And this should near enough be it, but let's make sure we hit from the back. I mean, yeah, that's that's good enough. I kind of miss uh, misplayed at the end there, but that's good enough. And we'll grab the dragon tabard. Tabard? Chest? Whatever it is. Uh, is it worth exploring up here? The answer is probably yes, and um, Throng of Zealots, I would say that's going to be a really good box, but it looks like it's got a, a tome behind it, so it's probably not that good a box. Mm, Throng of Automatons would be a pretty horrible fight as well, so I think I am just going to come start coming back down towards my other heroes, and also to start bringing my main army down. It's Melchior. can probably go about here, actually. These guys just kind of have to sit and do nothing while uh, Jury and Tancred, while they wait for Winona to get back and for the new army to arrive as well. Okay. So, I think we just end the turn there anyway. Let's get started on ferrying these troops up. Yep, that's right. Then we want Melchior to give all of these over to Jury. And Winona wants to come through and nope. Take these out. And I'm guessing these are gonna run as well. Yeah, I don't want to take out any of these range stacks. So, we want to take the whole army, except for the Coatles. Am I going to be using Jury or Tancred, I suppose is the question. Scouting, Archery, Offence, Fire Magic, or Offence and Armourer. I think it's going to have to be Jury. Since uh, scouting makes Tancred a much better scout hero, so Jury's actually going to have some use outside of that. Ah, eh, 45 harpies. I mean, I'll probably just dismiss these, given that they're not uh, not factory units. That's a bit of a useless box. What a shame. And Tancred. I guess Tancred can take the army, actually, and hopefully he can just make whatever's on the other side of here flee. 
perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Really does show the difference between Winona and Tancred, uh, view distance wise. Okay. There's a bit of stuff here that's probably not worth picking up. Jury, let's go through. Pack of all unicorns, Horde of Crusaders, which should be quite an easy fight, actually. Okay, Lord Hart, advanced estates. Exactly what we wanted. Uh, basic Earth Magic would be good, but since he's just uh, run around collecting resources here, I don't think there's much value in that. Okay, Lord Hart. You can go and get uh, the rest of the XP you need, uh, minus three, of course, uh, from this learning stone up here. Henrietta can go up towards this Derek. Shakti. Yeah, I guess Shakti does go and visit all of these uh, XP shrines. And Caitlin. Caitlin, I think I actually just do the same because she's just going to be part of a chain. So let's see if we can get estates on her. And Melchior is going to want to be part of a chain next week already. So we'll just move him down. Okay. Alright, this is a good start. Uh, let's also see. If we can get a decent spell, Town Portal. Yeah, that's literally exactly what we want, Town Portal. Um, the only other more useful thing here would probably have been Resurrection, but Town Portal is, is Town Portal. It's, it's always, always going to be useful. So that's that's pretty sweet. So as soon as I have a second town, I can just pull Man's TP with, uh, with Winona. And, and go straight back. Uh, for those that don't know, a poor man's town portal is uh, essentially where... Wow, look at that view distance from Winona. Uh, a poor man's town portal is essentially where you go into a fight with the intention of retreating with a very small part of your army. Um, and then from there you go you can go back to whatever town you want. If it's in this case pick up town portal then it would be grab the town portal spell, teleport back to my new town once I've got one, uh, and just carry on as we were. Though it can be pretty effective. Alright, so Tancred's got the army here. Let's take that back. And Jury, while I'm at it, can also pick up some useful artifacts. Diplomat's ring I'm going to keep because I'm planning on poor man's TPing. Yeah, I really don't have much to give uh, <laughs> to give jury here, but at least it's something, I suppose. And Winona. Lots of dendroid soldiers should be a relatively trivial fight. I'm just going to start combat. I don't think I really need to use tactics. Again, I really have no idea how the AI would have managed to lose such a huge portion of their, their army here. Because even with morale, you can see that that was, I mean, trivial at worst. Lots of web. Uh, Wyverns should be similarly easy, I think. Okay, and if I wait on both of these. 
and they've all waited by the looks of it. on the chin but that's still worth it um expert logist uh, expert ballistics even okay so tancred tancred is just going to be my scout i think and jury can follow along behind and pick up army ah that's a shame i'm, I'm gonna miss out on movement slightly there I think Shakti can go and visit this, which he's already visited, of course. <laughs> Whoops. No, I don't really want to dig in a random place. Should get to the Derrick just before the end of the week, which is great. I want to save resources because I want to re I want to research another spell if I can. All right, so Winona should be able to take this out with any problem. The throng. Again, I don't think I should lose that much. but 9 speed which means they'll go before my gunslingers yep, one worm, that's fine perfect motion it's let's get one attack and then jury so next turn I can probably grab the army and take out some of these as well which I'll do And swap these over. Old Heart can go up to the top. Henrietta can go and visit the Derek, and then she can wait here. Ah, okay, that is a full block. I can't get through anywhere there. So it looks like Tancred's coming along the same route as the rest of the heroes. Melchior can go a little bit further along. Day four, so Caitlin needs to grab these and then get back to town so that she can uh, she can start moving soldiers. Shakti might even be one to get rid of if we get a decent uh, replacement hero in the factory side.
Okay, that'll do nicely. I'm not going to bother with the dwarves. I think I'd kind of forgotten that uh, it was the start of a new turn. Okay. Relatively trivial fights here. would love to see what's in this witch's hut, actually. Would be worth seeing if I can get there with Jury next turn. Probably not, because I've got quite a bit to do otherwise. Expert offence. Would normally be very happy with that, but actually would rather have had estates, of course. Mokio can stay where he is. Caitlin. It's wisdom. Right, that'll do us. Ooh, see another opponent again. Nice. We are finally seeing uh, a little bit of movement on that side, which is cool. a little bit of movement, but that's okay. Alright, Shakti, let's... Uh... Who have we got to replace him again? Morton. I mean, not worth it at this point, but uh, yeah, Shakti, you can you can go down here. And Melchior, can probably get this far. Yeah, easily. Okay. Now get Caitlin back home. Right, Lord Hart's going to be just shy of a new level, but that's fine. Let's do jury first. Great. Uh, basic air magic's cool. Basic tactics. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get back with the army either, so I've kind of screwed up there a little bit. Winona's going to have plenty to pick up up here, which is nice. But for now, if we come back down here, we can move most of the way. Alright, so yeah, Jury's going to be able to make it across there, so let's, um, let's clear out these howls next turn. Might even be able to do it with lots, hmm. Might even be able to do it without an army, actually. I've got enough of three lightning bolts. No, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> as fun as that would be. Shakti can wait here. Henrietta's there for next turn. Hmm. Crystal mine. That'll be worth picking up. Might even be able to come back and grab some units off the, uh, off the chain here and come and pick that up. That'd be cool. 
Caitlin can go back to town. Still nothing here that I think is really worth us picking up, frankly. Gantry we can't do yet. But we have at least built up plenty of gold. Which, you know, there's a major plus there at least. It was worth me taking out these bellwether armadillos with Lord Hart. Possibly. Let's decide next turn. Alright, so I think that's us for uh, for day seven. On to week three of month two. It's nice that we're actually seeing uh, Pink do something. Hmm, basic fire magic, I guess. I've ended up with a Winona who certainly is not my uh certainly not got my favorite skills on but um hey yeah, it is what it is sometimes i guess <laughs> uh right winona let's go and take out the black tower triumph eclipse again all right fine and jury next turn can go and grab uh windmill big old piles here and then we can make our way back up to the north to support Winona. Probably worth me clearing these out, considering there's uh, there's gems and crystal there. So, yeah, let's do that on the way past. Shark T can stay where he is, and Caitlin. Well, I can pick up way more of the army than I thought she'd be able to. In fact, you can pick up the whole thing. That's pretty nice. And here we ended up with Celestine with an armadillo speciality. Interesting. I mean, personally, I think that's, that's kind of terrible. So far, the armadillos seem to be a pretty terrible unit, but... I'm sure that uh, they things will improve as time goes on. Lord Hart can go and grab me this warehouse of ore, I guess. Uh, Henrietta can visit the Derrick. And then from there, back down to the three prospectors here. Uh, Tancred is going to want to get involved in the chain when it arrives, so... Let's get it arriving, I suppose. Melchior. Up here. Yeah, he can go pretty far, actually. Tank grid can take the army. Ward of Walking Dead should be pretty trivial. So we'll do that next turn. And then we'll drop the army back off to Melchior if we can and send him on his way. Not the best chain in the world, um, but it'll do. Alright. Nice to have a turn one where we've actually got enough gold to do everything we want to do, though, as well. Where was, uh... Where was that? Okay, so it was over here somewhere. Fine. Of stuff to go and pick up up here. Great, load of armadillos. Jury's going to have uh, an awful lot to go and pick up, which is good. Shakti. 
tractor you can get back part of the way home. That'll probably do. Sulfur. Double sulfur. Okay, so we just need a little bit of mercury and we can uh, do a bit more research, so that's good. Mm, no, I don't think there's any need. Alright, so from Tancred, how far can he get to there? Kaylin can stay where she is? Yeah, I think so. Let's go and pick up three weeks worth of mechanics, send those back home. Probably not a good box here either. Probably not worth taking. We'll end up with another crappy harpy box or something like that that nobody wants. Let's see what pink does. Nothing that we could see. Fine. Alright, looks like Winona's going to be uh, just pushing on from here. Town. That's quite exciting. Mercury, just what the doctor ordered. Resurrection. Okay, so I've got the exact two spells that I wanted to get, which, yeah, is beyond good. Let's take XP. So next turn I will be able to clear these out, take this town, clear these and then drop off some soldiers and then I'll probably pull mans off the null marauders um, and then I can pick up my spells and teleport straight back to Tartaros so that's uh, yeah that's pretty epic. Shakti is just a chain hero. Might as well grab the XP here, advanced luck, sure. Tancred can go and drop off this army. Melchior. Hmm, diplomacy. Always fun. Caitlin, stay where she is. Just a chain hero. He can always stay where he is till next turn or next week even all the way till next week throng of mummies that seems a bit excessive a guard for uh, for a dragonfly in a chest okay, first things first mage guild one. Chuck everything except our quattles into the town. That'll give us 11 speeds worth of movement next turn. Um, for those that don't know, um, the movement speed of your hero is determined by your slowest unit. Um, with speed, I think it's speed 11 upwards, you're getting the full 2000 base per turn movement points. Um, anything slower than that, and it reduces the standard 1900. Um, by an appropriate amount, so like dwarves or something like that, I think you end up with 13 or 1400 movement points, which is a pretty significant drop in, in your overall movement, of course. Um, and Winona... Yeah, Winona wants to wait here for now, because she's going to get movement next turn, poor man's off the knolls, leave the army here, teleport back to... Oh, 
the poor man's back to town, pick up actual town portal and resurrection, and then come back to Tartaros and carry on the push. Wow, Jury's going to have an awful lot to pick up here. This is really nice. Pretty unusual to get this many free resources as well. Alright, so Henrietta I can probably just use as part of a chain now. She's visited everything? No, not quite everything. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a free level out of this uh, this learning stone, and I should be able to get back into a chain position for next week. Tank red. I guess tank red can move back down so that he's in a chain position, at least to a degree. Yeah, we've got Shakti just on the other side here, so he may well be able to just go up here somewhere. Melchior. Yeah, let's pick up these resources on the way past with Melchior. May as well. Caitlin probably wants to be around here anyway. Um, Lord Hark can... Lord Hark can probably be my hero that, uh, that picks up my new units, I guess, next turn. So, let's end the turn there. Okay, it's a really important turn with Winona. Whoops. Okay, I, I think that should actually be enough. I think I should be able to just poor man's... Okay, and that's Winona. She's now visited. And should have... Resurrection. Amazing. And also, non-combat spells, expert town portal. Amazing. Right, so first things first. Um, Winona is going to TP to Tartaros. I'm just going to dismiss this one uh, one halfling. I guess get the Order of Fire. All we need is the Tavern though for, uh, for our Town Hall, but we're not really that pushed for gold anymore. It's Order of Fire, Marketplace, and then we'll see what we get. I've now got Slow as well, that's awesome. Uh, Winona. I'll put her back to the top so she's where she was originally. For, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, holding Alt and clicking any hero puts them to the top of the list. Like so. We want one owner at the top there like that, so let's Great, some knolls. Really is incredible how much uh, movement speed. Or how much view distance even that Winona has. She, she's really, really a nuts hero to play. Crewmates. Don't know if there's a huge value in actually doing that fight. Seems like a lot of these fights are quite easy considering how long the game has been going on. I would have thought that they'd be a lot, uh, a lot tougher, some of these. Basic offense as a hero is not going to get used much, so might as well. Uh, I've got a couple of days movement spare, so 
to take advanced scouting, absolutely. Oh, lots of skeleton warriors, really easy fight. Really easy, that would have started off as several skeletons, I guess, then. Which is, yeah, really trivial. Let's upgrade these mechanics, they're really cheap to upgrade. Really, really cheap. Celestine. Ah, Jedi. Always a useful hero in other situations. Alright, and I guess we can start building up our, our town a little bit now. Let's build the gantry. XP. Ah, basic air. That's fine. Not what I was actually after, but, but that'll do. Let's start moving Henrietta towards here so we can get her in a chain. Lord Hart should be able to move pretty far. That's the best I can do. Seven speed. What's the speed on these, actually? So we haven't actually looked at these yet. Um, 18.20. 40, 50, so high damage and 200 health, so high health as well, but speed 6 and obviously can't fly, which makes them not so good, unless you can repair them with the mechanics, I suppose, because you wouldn't be able to even resurrect these, so they don't have, they're not alive, I think, at least, we'll have to test that out. Uh, and also can attack with heat stroke instead of moving. Hmm. Alright, so we'll have to figure out what that actually means. Heat strike. All oh, the pikeys should be easier to take here. Yeah, should be easy to take. Yep, great. Melchior or Tancred can stay where he is. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Can't quite squeeze past there to steal the other resources there. And there's actually an ore pit there as well. Which, I mean, again, I'm probably not going to need, but could be worth picking up at some stage. Yeah, definitely can't get through there either. That's a shame. Alright, so let's... Let's put Jury somewhere here, I think. Tancred's there. Melchior's there. He's going to be able to move to about here next turn after he picks up this. So he might as well pick up the gold on the way past. Lord Hart's good where he is. Caitlin, I think, should be able to move further. Yeah, because Henrietta's going to be around here. Lord Hart's going to be able to move at least all the way down to there. How much further? Not much. Alright, cool. But if we get Lord Hart... Sorry. Henrietta's going to be the other side of here, so Caitlin can probably move up to here pretty comfortably, which means Shakti can go through here and move up a little bit, which means Tancred can do likewise, maybe up here, and then we're going to have Jury. Not that far to the north, by the looks of it. That should do us, though. Yep, cool. Okay, so that's us all prepared for the chain, which... In theory, two turns away still, I guess, but, uh, but let's pick it up now. I'm really tempted by the artifact merchants. Really, really tempted. For now, though, let's move towards the town hall, get that extra gold income. Yeah, I'm so tempted by the artifact merchants, especially as it's uh, towards the end of the month. But I think that's a really stupid idea, because we've got to buy our troops in two turns worth of income. Hmm. Endless sack of gold. I can't remember which one that is. I think it might even be the good one. 
yeah, it probably is. Hold of Cyclops Kings, okay. Um, I mean, I guess let's take the Acids still. It's carries on clearing this out for us. Enchanter's Hollow, wow. There's a bank down here as well, though, that could be really useful. All afraid of Picket, which I don't really like. I don't like the pickets. Some some of the new buildings I really really like, but I'm really not a fan of the pickets. No, I think we carry on and then we just go north from here, pick up some of this. Yeah, I think that's the way forward. Yep. Yeah, I'll. Oh wow. Well, This way it should be, in theory, the automatons which take the first hits. Nope, armadillos. I mean, that's fine. I don't like the armadillos anyway. Fine, 12 armadillos. Could have actually used res. Didn't think about that. Finally get a skill that I actually want on Winona. That's that's crazy. And level 18, so I just got plus one, uh, plus one scout radius as well. Which puts her up to 10 scout radius, which I don't know about you guys, but I, I think it's, I think it's an absolutely insane specialty. It's it's so so strong, like unbelievably strong, really. I think maybe we just carry on going north here and clear some of this out. I could go and take out the Griffin Cons, but I, I do try and avoid taking out Griffin Conservatories at all in these playthroughs because angels are, well, they're, they're just absolutely ridiculous, as, as most of you probably know already. Um, cool, okay, so that's ready for day seven. Oh, we got orange here as well. Nice. And now we've got a tavern, are we actually able to see anything at all? We are. Wow, I'm actually first on number of towns, with two at nearly week eight. Wow, that, that really surprises me a little bit. Um, Stats-wise, though, I've got some good opponents here. Ain, the blue hero, is, is looking really, really good. Really, really good. Uh, so is Lorelei. They've got Tazar as their main hero, which is a little bit scary, I've got to say. And Brown has obviously got Kinky, um, who we always love. Everyone loves a bit of Kinky. Uh, no, I don't want to hit the automatons. Wait, what? I can't... I can't get past here? Are you kidding? Huh, I kind of assumed I'd be able to get past. That's pretty annoying. I mean, I guess we can clear out some more of this stuff, but yeah, that's, that's actually super annoying. I, there's a lot of easy stuff to clear out here, and some stats, and a bank, and all sorts. Um, that said, there is a taupe over here. And Jesus, the Sword of Judgment, that's a brilliant artifact. Kind of kicks the crap out of my red tongue and uh, red dragon tongue, tongue flame, flame tongue. Say that three times fast. All right, so I mean, I guess we just come back south from here, and yeah, I'm only wasting 137 moves, so one square. I might as well pick up the resources here next turn. Shakti, stay where you are, you're a chain hero. Henrietta wants to go all the way through. And she can indeed move that far, so Caitlin. I was going to move Henrietta all the way, how far can she go? One more, fine. Which means that Caitlin can move to there because Henrietta's already moved. Which means Shakti can probably move up slightly. Tancred can too.
think a horde of archers will probably just flee. Yep, I don't want to fight them, so that's fine. Sure, it can move pretty far, it looks like, so. Oh, it's a shame I can't quite get in town. Alright, so everybody's good where they are in preparation for next turn, I think. Let's build the town hall. And that'll do us, I think. Alright. First things first, let's pick that up on Winona. That's a pretty nice army. I'm not really that bothered about the, uh, the armadillos there. I feel like they're, they're just pretty bad, generally. They don't seem to have any particular special abilities. And then again, I haven't upgraded them yet. They could be like really, really insanely good when I upgrade them. Uh, let's also build the artifact merchants just to see what we've got. Ooh, okay. Boost of speed is an incredibly good artifact. Hmm, which we can't pick up. So, that's kind of it, although I do I do kind of fancy using the robots, they, they do seem like fun. So I'm going to take the loan from the bank, and I think I am going to use the robots. Let's do it. Lord Hart can have back the one halfling. I would say he can go and upgrade that, but if I can remember who's supposed to be where. Yeah, Henrietta. So hopefully I can just reverse chain all of the artifacts from uh, Winona back to my town, although there may not be any need. I can just TP there, I suppose. Okay, great. I actually gauged this correctly for once. That's nice. And then we've got Shakti. Let's actually send over these Arties as well. Um, even if it's just to go and sell later. Jury. If I move once with Jury, I can also visit this with Tancred. Guess I might as well pick these up on the way through. But especially if I'm not going to be reverse chaining anything. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, I think. Great, okay, so there's a ton of artifacts and things that I can sell. Ah, 
yeah, unfortunately I've got the Ring of Vitality twice. So, still no, uh... Still no... Artifact of that kind. Ah, oh, have I left, um... Yeah, I have. I've left the robots on jury. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do about that. Okay, we're going to be taking everything next turn. Maybe we have the robots on, on a separate hero, I don't know. I think that maybe is the logical thing to do. Right, we've got a little bit of movement left, so let's just move up. We don't want to try and take the Cyclops Kings. Apart from anything else, we don't have enough resurrections to do so. But I would I would like to go and see if we can do the Tope next turn. Um, but for now, I think uh, we, we probably call it there. That's probably enough for this episode, and I will see you guys next time.